Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Christy. I'm a homeschool mom to three kids. Today I'm gonna to be talking all about this big question. This is a question that I get asked often. It's a question I see posted often in Facebook homeschooling groups and, and just inquiring about homeschool in general. And the question is, how do I know that my kids are learning and how do I know that I'm doing enough? I have some pretty big thoughts on these questions, and so let's get into it. So the first question I'm going to address is, how do you know if you're doing enough in your homeschool? And I would urge you to kind of like, in response to that, ask yourself another question, enough compared to who? I think that there's a lot of comparison when it comes to homeschooling, and I think that that kind of is always in the back of your mind. Whether you want to admit it or not, there's going to be times that you compare yourself to other homeschool families or to what the school system's doing or where they should be according to standards. In particular, I hear a lot of families that are concerned with trying to keep up with what school systems are doing. What made school systems like the guiding light? Like why do we look to what the school system's doing to kind of gauge our own personal benchmarks in our homeschool. Isn't that what homeschool is about? The freedom from a standardized education. So why are we trying to standardize our homeschools? I think it's important to think about your children on an individual basis. Homeschool is an individualized education and every kid's education is going to be different. Every kind of mark where they, the age that they read, the age that they master their multiplication facts, the age that they're ready for higher math levels and that sort of thing depends on the child. Each child has their own unique talents, um, gifted areas, areas of interest, areas that they don't love so much, struggles and that sort of thing. And so trying to compare your kids to either state standards or another person's child, it's just not healthy for, for them. I urge you to look at your homeschool on an individualized basis on whether you're doing enough or not. Do you feel at peace with where you're at? Do you feel like your kids are thriving? Do you feel like they're lacking in specific areas or there's a point of really high tension or struggle? And then from there, evaluate what you are doing. Do your kids want more? Do they need more? It's, it's completely up to you and what you feel like is best for your children. But don't let somebody else, whether it be the school system or another homeschool, set your standards. How do I know if my kids are learning? And with this question, I kind of giggle at it a little bit and it's not like in any judgment towards you for asking the question, but if you think about kids, like kids are always learning. And I think that sometimes we can focus, hyper-focus on academic growth as kind of a proof that they're learning. However, there are so many other areas that kids are learning all of the time. There's so much more to education than just math, reading, writing, fractions, multiplication. There is so much more and it's, it shows up more in personality growth, you know, growth mindset. Are they kind of, you know, growing in that area? There's going to be points where it doesn't really seem like they are academically progressing, like in leaps and bounds. They might be subtly, but there might be like a really, really big personality jump that they're going through. There's going to be a balance between that. It's not gonna be all this growth all at once. If you really step back and study your child and just notice those little moments, you will see that they are learning. There is growth and they are progressing in their education. Social emotional growth, developing their personalities, being able to regulate their emotions better. Why do we laser focus on how well they can count or how well they know their math facts or how well they read and that sort of thing? I think that we put a lot of pressure on just like kids getting it all, all of the time. Who says that they have to learn everything in their like kindergarten through 12th grade? I know for me personally, um, I'm always learning as an adult. You know, if there's something I don't know or I'm unfamiliar with, I will figure out a way to f teach myself that thing because if it's something I need, 
I will go down a trail to figure out how to do it. And the same thing goes for our kids. You know, kids are very motivated by things that are immediate. And so if they are working on skills that they're interested in, you know, that correlate with something they're interested in, they are more in tune with learning and more excited about learning that. If it's a skill that may be a little bit frustrating for them and they don't understand why it matters so much or what use they're going to get out of it, it might be something that they may use in the future, like years down in their adult life. But education wants them to learn it now as a child. It, it honestly, there's such a gap, it doesn't make sense to me. So if they're not fully understanding it now as a child, I don't think we really need to stress about that because when it comes time for them to need a skill or need to know something and are ready for something, they can learn it then. You know, like there's ways of discovering and learning it when they are more mature and like in need of that skill. So I think it's unfair to put so much pressure on yourself about making sure that they know all of these things master all of these things because to be honest it's not realistic for them to master everything in their childhood education it's just not it's not a realistic expectation they're not going to master everything our goal as homeschool educators is to set them off on their best foot and prepare them well for their adult life so that they can live a purposeful successful adult life whatever path that they may choose and that's going to look different for every child. Now, I'm not saying slack off and be lazy and not teach it. I'm just saying don't worry so much and don't put so much pressure on yourself and your child to master every concept and make sure that they're hitting these certain benchmarks through their life. They don't need to know all of the things now. You know, these are things that they can learn through their entire life. I am not categorized as an unschooler by any means. However, following my children's lead their signs of readiness and following their interests, listening to their feelings about things has always been important to me. So, in summary, stop trying to standardize your individualized education in your homeschool. Make your education unique to every single child. Do more observing of your children and seeing where they truly are having learning and growth happen. And trust this homeschool process. You're not going to ruin your kids. Your kids are not going to be failures if they're not reading by five years old. If they're not ready for fractions by fifth grade, it's okay. If they haven't mastered their addition or multiplication facts, it's okay. There's time for your kids to learn these skills. And it may not be when society says it should be. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in another video very soon. Bye.